Hello everyone, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. So, one of my viewers told me about something very interesting. A little while ago, a couple episodes ago I think it was, I was trying to look at what my soldiers were up to in the barracks. And I wasn't able to zoom in. I didn't think you could. But it turns out you actually can, you just, you have to be not in a menu. Yeah, as long as you go out of the menu, so you're kind of moving around freely, you actually can zoom in extremely close. So I can tell that's Arrow, and I'm not sure who that is. Let's zoom in. Yep. Holy crap. Hello, my soldiers. How are you doing? wonder who that is back there. Must be one of the rookies. Looks like she doesn't have any special armor on. This could be a very epic scene here, actually. This could be a very good introduction to a scene, couldn't it? If you had some music, and do this. Like you're coming up and... Maybe both of these people are having a conversation, like, Ooh, and then they're talking to each other. Yeah. What's going on down here? Biohazard. Authorized personnel only. That looks like, like a gigantic mug of orange juice. It's actually a lot of detail here. I mean, it's not super high quality when you zoom in, of course, because it's meant to be viewed very far out, but it's still surprisingly high quality. Let's see, does anyone have a chat up here? Yeah! Whoops, oh, god damn it, I clicked something. It's all ruined! I'm actually surprised they allow you to zoom in this far. This is really close. Eh, they're just a bunch of rookies. Who cares about them? They're nothing. Generics. This almost looks like a... Actually, it almost looks like my office, maybe. Kind of looks like a commander's office. Or whatever the hell you call it. Pretty... It actually is very pretty. And I saw something really cool over here. Where is it? Engineering, engineering, engineering. Here it is. Caution! This device contains explosive materials. Do not expose to heat or pressure. Do not kick the device. Avoid manhandling and or panhandling. And store in a cool, dry place. You better not kick it. Don't kick it. <laughs> I like how the engineer guy, um, what the hell is his name, Doctor? Or was he, wait, what is your name? I know there's Doctor Valen or Valen, but what's the engineer's? I don't even remember. Who cares? He's a generic dude. Nobody cares who he is. But I like how he's just. He's just standing there facing me, just waiting for me to come in. Like, that's his entire job. He probably got a freaking PhD and he's done engineering related stuff for his entire life. Probably for 30 or 40 years or something. And all of his expertise are being used to be my servant and simply wait for me. That's efficiency. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Think of all the, the datums coming out of that. What is this? Oh. My. God. Those are the largest pencils I have ever seen in my life. They are twice as tall as a cup. And the cup itself looks as big as someone's head. That is not to scale. It's almost the diameter of those pencils are almost as thick as the diameter of the support beam for the chair. What the hell? Ooh, look at that. Really pretty. Really, I'm, I'm surprised how detailed these places are. Beautiful. Really beautiful. 
<laughs> Look at that beast. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Alright, is there anything else to look at in particular? What's going on, dudes? What are you talking about? Don't mind me. I'm just eavesdropping on your private conversation. Oh yeah? Yeah? Oh yeah. I know. It's crazy, isn't it? Ooh, can I read that? Nope. Okay. Let's kill some aliens. Alright, so what am I doing? Research, right? There's nothing to research. I am building the Gollop Chamber. Mm-hmm. I want to gene mod my troops, but I need money. And I also want to wait for my current round of people to finish their psi testing before I do that. So there's nothing to do but wait. <laughs> a pending request on behalf of Germany has expired. Commander, you should take a look at this. We've just detected a massive new contact. We're picking up an enormous power signature. Whatever it is, it must be fully loaded. We should expect heavy resistance. Oh, shit. It's a battleship. I've heard about the battleship. Someone was telling me about the battleship. Someone has told me about the battleship in the comments on the previous videos, but the problem is I don't remember much about it. I just know it's very big, which is kind of, I guess, obvious because it says size very large. Well, let's do it. I definitely want to take my best. Thank God I have a demon with an EMP cannon because I think I'm going to need it. In fact, I should probably just burn my aim consumable. In fact, I'm going to. Unless... Wait, I didn't use it up on the last thing, did I? Please tell me I bought another one. Oh no, I didn't. Uh-oh. Oh my god, that thing is huge! <sighs> Thank god it's missing. That didn't... Wait, are you... Are you serious? <laughs> what? <gasps> that battleship was like 20 times the size of my little tiny demon. My demon was like an obnoxious fruit fly buzzing around the battleship, and yet it just walked, basically flew up to it and just zapped it a couple times and it went down. Wow. I don't need any consumables at all. That was far too easy. But I'm not going to complain. Okay, scout target. Or objective scout target. Okay, what do we have here? 23. That is huge. That is massive. Ethereal. Muton Elite, Heavy Floater, Sectoid, Commander, Muton Berserker, Muton Chrysalid. That's not a big deal. No, that's that doesn't sound too bad. I mean, there's a lot. So this is going to be a, an endurance run. No doubt about that. However, there's no sectopods. Or cyber disks. I guess I'll just take the same people, right? I mean, Isley's away for testing. I think. Isley. Yeah. I guess I'll just take the same people. Graves, got my max arrow, soul, specter, everybody's outfitted. You have your medkit, good. Do I want to capture aliens? No, I don't, I don't care. I don't suppose I recovered any pistols, did I? Any upgraded pistols? No. Alright, let's go. That was comically easy to take down. That did not seem right. Dropship has arrived. Australia has sent a number of requests for assistance, so that's our next drop site. We've locked in the coordinates of the alien crash site. Fortunately, the civilian population in the surrounding area is minimal. We have to move to secure the area as quick. Operation Cryptic Serpent. Are we landing on top of the UFO? Is it so big that the entire map is the UFO? Than anything we've seen so far. Oh, it is. Considering the impact, hmm. the ship seems to be in relatively good shape. We don't know what to expect in there, but you should make your way to the craft's bridge as quickly as possible. 
as quickly as possible. So, Central, let me get this straight. You're advising me to sprint and put my soldiers in incredible danger just to get to the craft's bridge. Are you sure that's the best course of action? Because I really don't agree. Central, have I ever mentioned that I don't like you? Okay, so apparently this place is so huge that the entire map is the battleship. Hmm. I'd like to dash her in just to be able to see, but no, that's stupid. I can't tell if it's full cover or not. Alright, don't click to select your other troops. If I do, she's probably going to open it. Use tab. Use tab. Okay. Do my standard thing here. Get my mechs right in front of the door. Who do I want up front? Explosives or my sniper? I got some explosives up here. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll just pack them around the side. Sound so angry. Oh, that one sounded like a lion. Hello. Oh, it's just one of those. It's just a little hallway. Ain't nothing here to worry about. Nothing at all. God, this place is massive. Look at this thing. It was taken down by a little demon. I think those... Those are guns! Look at that! It looks like one shot from one of these guns could split the earth in half. Well, okay, that might be a slight exaggeration. <laughs> but it's pretty close, I think. Um. 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 See, I'm tempted to put Spectre up because she's... Nah, I shouldn't put Spectre up. She, Sniper should not be in the front. Even though she does have quite a bit of health. No, I think I'll put my Heavy up there. Because she can shoot twice or launch a rocket. Get a conga line of mechs going on here. You know, I bet my mechs would make very good dancers. Very elegant, especially since they have advanced servo motors. They have very fine control over their motor functions. I bet you dance beautifully, Tyrone Moose M and John Cotton Candy Smith. Just don't step on your dancing partner's toes. Perfect. Now that I can actually see it, I can go there and scout uh, reliably, because I know it's full cover. Yeah, this looks like pretty shitty cover out here. It's all a bunch of half. But it looks like we're going to have a big height advantage against anything down here. And this is a very large, very, very large chamber, it looks like. Let's get a look at this chamber here. Wait. Okay, she sees them, but do you? No. They're actually like one square. Too far in the corner. Okay, and yes, this is a huge chamber. Oh man, this is going to be... If there's enemies in here, like down here and around, it's going to be a perfect place. It's going to be a shooting gallery for Spectre. Alright, how do I play this? Do I run in now and shoot them? 
or wait until next turn. Ooh, that's a commander. I just realized that's a commander. What about your improved flamethrower? It only does nine. It won't quite kill it. And it won't do any damage to the sectoid, or the, the mectoid, I mean, because it's a robot, so that would be very stupid, actually. That would accomplish almost nothing. Hmm. I don't like the idea of running in there. Because I can't get my people into cover and shoot at it. I could, get, I could move my mechs forwards. And take one shot. But no, I don't like it. Nope. I'm gonna wait. If they decide to move and walk across the door, they're going to have a bad time. In fact, I might as well take this moment to... Ah, oh, crap, can I not throw one down? Hmm. Actually, that... Yeah. Let's toss one over here. We're... Pop, up, pop up again. Where'd you go? Yeah, let's do that. Excellent. Is that another one? Mectoid? Looks like another Mectoid. Mectoid insectoid group? Wait a minute. What the? Okay, am I blind? Like, was I blind before when I was reading the list of every, uh, every enemy? Because that looks like a Cyberdisc. That is a Cyberdisc. I could have sworn there was not a Cyberdisc. I was lied to. I had bad intel. I can't get this damn mine in a good spot. I'm gonna move you here. Okay. That's better. Go ahead and move! I encourage you. I very much encourage you to take a step. Walking's good for your health. Improves your cardiovascular fortitude. Do it. Do it. Um, have they been activated or are they just moving? I think they're just moving. Yeah, they're not activated. Okay. Oh, wait, what? Um. Excuse me, proximity mine? You failed me. What the fuck is wrong with your proximity mind? Jesus. What? What? What a broken piece of shit. Alright. Well. See, I can't move my standard soldiers up into cover and shoot. I don't like the idea of activating it, but actually, if I move out here, they might not even activate. Let's find out. I don't think they will. No. Yeah, they're too far down. Moving to position. Should I dare to shoot another proximity mine? Nah, fuck it. Apparently they don't work. move my damn troops in. Should I dare to stand out in the open? I mean, they're not going to get to shoot this turn anyway. So, is there any reason not to? Sure, why not? <laughs> this is really dangerous seeming, but it's really perfectly safe, trust me. Are you seen? Yes, you are. You can't move. What's your chance to hit? It's actually not bad at all. It's really not bad at all. So there's a chance to crit, too. Alright, I really need you to be in a different spot. 
Hmm. Move you here. Get a little bit better angle. If they happen to come up, you should be able to shoot them, maybe. Do I want to overwatch? I think I do. Okay. Got a lot of overwatches here. I hope that thing doesn't come towards us. I really don't want to fight both at the same time, although we could. It wouldn't be that big of a deal. The Cyberdisks used to be super scary, but now they actually don't have all that much health. In fact, I could probably kill it with two shots from Spectre. So, it's not too bad. Alright, what are you going to do? Nope. There goes Arrow. Welcoming party! It's already half dead, almost. Why don't you come towards, or you could overwatch. You better not mind meld with it, you fucker. Okay, good, it didn't. Arrow, I need to move you up. Will you be discovered if you move up here? No, you won't. You're good. Oh! Never mind about that. I think I was one square off. I'm usually pretty good about that, but no. Oh, shit! I didn't think I'd fucking trigger that! <sighs> We're off to a good start here. Spectre's face tanking the shots. Should be by mechs that do that. What do you... Oh, a little drone. Right. Well... I could probably just kill you with arrow. Which is probably what I should do. Although, I would like to shoot... You know, should I even stand next to this thing? If someone triggers it, it's gonna hurt. I don't know, let's do this. Alright, you're dead. For the entire rest of the game, I'm just gonna be hearing Beep beep beep. Beep beep beep. Beep beep beep. That thing's never gonna trigger. Or if it does, it's gonna trigger while all my soldiers are standing inside of the blast radius. As always. Right. So I obviously need to move into cover, and I would like to heal you right now, so I think I'm just gonna move you up and probably heal you. Alternatively, you could shoot, but... No. You don't have the heart thing, right? The thing that makes you so you don't die. No. I'll probably heal you. We'll see what happens. Let's start taking these things down. <laughs> 15 damage on a drone. A little bit of overkill there. I'd like to kill that thing before it has a chance to mind meld. What's the best way to do that? I could move my mechs over here. But they can only get one shot off, which means I need to use them both to kill it, most likely. Hmm. Not so good. I wouldn't even reach. I really need to kill that, though, before it starts messing with me. Because if I have to deal with a mind-melded arrow, it's going to be a problem. Alright, good height advantage. You're going to get a good shot. Oh, 56? What the fuck? 
Hmm. <laughs> I could take another gamble to proximity mine, which almost never seems to pay off. I'm going to take a gamble with a shot. Nope. Shall I gamble again? I really want to kill that fucker. Okay. Well, that's not going to work. Just fuck you. Just fuck you. That was a massive waste of resources. Now, do I kill that thing or heal you? I'm going to heal you. You're far too precious. Don't worry, I won't lose you, my specter. Come on, try to mind melt. I know you want to. You're gonna shoot, aren't you? Ooh, you're going for soul. Five damage, that's it? Pew, pew, pew. Oh, it's so cute. It did two damage. It's adorable. Just don't mind melt my troops, because that's not adorable. Yeah, you run away. That's good. Alright, we got this. Ooh, the other one's straight across the way. That thing is seriously terrifying looking. Alright. Well, Spectre's obviously the one for this. Probably gonna kill it. Up to ten, five, six. Yeah, it's gonna die. You're dead. Good job. Now we have the sectoid commander, which has run away, and we have this little annoying thing. I want to heal you this turn because I want to wait too long. So let's use you. Popping these medkits like candy. They don't taste very good, though. Tastes kind of medicine-y. Alright, we need to move up. I really don't want to go through the center, though, because that will give us an extreme height disadvantage against anything that would try to kill us. So, I believe we should go around. Yeah, we should actually go this way. So let's move up a bit. Actually, I should have done that with the arrow. But it's fine. Need full cover. Ah, it's gotta be the commander. Mm-hmm. Overwatch, but well, you're full on ammo, so I'll overwatch with you and I will reload you. I'll reload you too. Next turn, we'll start moving over to the left. Oh, hi. Reaction fire? Oh, no. Not yet. Are you actually gonna hit? Oh, you're going to mind meld. Or mind control. <laughs> and it failed. You can't take control of John Cotton Candy Smith. He's too fluffy for you. And sweet. Forty-two percent. Oh, you're in full cover.
Mm, it's gonna eat. That's gonna eat a lot of ammo. I'll just take the shot. It paid off. Move you up a little bit. You, I will reload once again. Keep my troops fresh. You, I want to move up. Not too far. I'll put you right there. I want to see what's on my flank here, just in case. Anything? I guess not. Alright, sprint everyone over. Yeah, there's no way I'm going down there. No way. Can't help but notice that we're all inside of the blast radius. Not very comforting. Reload you. Overwatch. And we're done. Where the hell's a milled canister? Here? Alright, so it looks like we're safe over here. It looks like there's no one. Could be something back here, I guess. Maybe. Let's just ignore it for now. <laughs> one little piece of full cover. It'll have to do. Yeah, if we want to have any chance of getting that meld, we just have to sprint. Even if it's out into the open, it'll be fine. We're not going to encounter anything this turn. Ooh. How do I... Wait, it says I can put her up there, but how? Why isn't it popping up? It says I can put her there. Hello? It's broken. Hmm. Strange. I swear I'm going to be hearing that beep for the rest of the game. Even when it's across the map, I'm going to be hearing it. Moving to target location. Okay, can I move her up now? It's still... It's showing that you can go up here, but I can't select it. Yeah, it's just broken. Anyway. Right. A meld canister somewhere over here. Need full cover. I guess that'll have to do. Ooh, this is going to be a perfect place for Spectre up here. Ooh, what was that? I hate how I hate how it uses up return, and you see that there's enemies that were just discovered. You see them for like half a second, they pop up, and then it just switches to someone else and zooms away. It's like I want to see what I just found. Oh, it's just a bunch of heavy floaters. All right, let's move my mechs up right behind. Not quite revealed. The milled canister is somewhere over here. It was towards the left. Ooh, shit. I think I just blocked the way. Actually, that's fine. No one else is going to be able to move up this far anyway. 
don't suppose you can launch a thing? Uh, no. Not really, that would just hit the core and not be terribly effective, and it probably wouldn't even activate anyway, because apparently proximity mines don't launch and activate when they're in proximity to enemies. Apparently that's not like their main function or anything, nope. If I put her here, she actually might be able to shoot them next turn. And she'll still be able to run up there. Yeah, let's do that. Can't you see them? No, but if they move, she might. Some overwatch over there. Gotta pack my troops in. This is way more packed in than I should ever put them. Okay. Ooh, that that meld canister is far away. Okay, I don't really have much of a choice but to trigger them now. Yeah, I mean, I could move Spectre up here. I'm not going to be able to get her up here and use her in the same turn. So I think I'm just going to trigger them, uh, let them move about, and then decide what to do next. And since I can just go up there and jump down, I might as well get the hide advantage, right? Okay, Spectre might have a shot. Let's check. She does. Hello and goodbye. Hmm. I like how it blows up the core before it blows up the enemy next to the core. How does that work? Anyway. Ah, oh, almost. So close. It's gotta be a scary thing to look up and see. Imagine from their perspective, I wish I could do it, but imagine looking up and like 10, 15 feet above you, you have two gigantic mechs bearing down on you. That would be terrifying. Alright, shooting wouldn't actually guarantee his death. This would. But it's also gonna use up a ton of ammo. I'll just shoot. Damn. It's fine, there's plenty of other people. I'm sure I can kill them this turn. For example... Overwatch check. Nobody on Overwatch. That just leaves you. And you're only in half cover. What a shame, you're so vulnerable. <sighs> it's up to you, Graves. I guess I'll pack everyone in up here. Why not? It's a party! There we go. Remember, there's always there's over 20 enemies on this map, so I probably haven't even taken out half. Well, maybe just half. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't see any full cover. Nope. Well, there's not going to be any enemies here anyway. They're going to be through the doors. So I'm just going to move you up here and reload you. We need to reload. I'll put you out in the open. You'll be fine. Yeah, I'm sure the next wave of enemies are behind the doors. That's affirmative. I'm ready. All right, we're good on ammo. Just need to move into position. Yep, right in there. And the meld canister should be in there as well. Yep, there it is. Perfect. Ooh, actually, she needs to reload. Quite badly. Can't quite make it to the other side of the door. You can, but I don't really want you up front. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take one more turn of organizing my people. Probably gonna lose the melt canister, I bet. Maybe not, we'll see. It is pretty far away, and it seems like the distance it is from you is what decides how many turns you have to get it, so we might be okay. I'm making decent time. I'm not sprinting towards it, but I'm also not lagging. Here. You just have to select, because otherwise she's going to open the door. Reload you. It's actually a pretty good place for her to be. Mate, well, no. I should put her straight there. That way she can just shoot straight through. She's not in any cover, but that might be okay. I don't suppose she can launch a battle scanner. Uh, is that going to trigger it to open? If you throw something through a force field, does it make it pop? Hmm. Let's try that. Okay. Nothing. Next turn, we move. Yeah, they're straight, and they're not over to the side. Okay, can I move you into full cover? Ooh. That looks like full cover, but I can't be sure because it doesn't tell me. Nah. Too dangerous. We're just gonna open this. Vision group of 
Why, thank you. It just so happens I need more crystal corpses, and I'm about to get them. Yes, I encourage you to line up. Also, can someone tell me why Close Combat Specialist didn't activate? Because this seems like exactly when it should have. I don't even know. Well. Hello there. Goodbye there. Hello there. Goodbye there. Hi, it's nice to meet you. You're dead. Oh, it is full cover. Let's do it. Oh, I bet the mill caster's up here, isn't it? Jesus, this place is big. Okay, um, where does that go? Looks like that leads down to the chamber. Okay, so, yeah, let's go up on the side. There isn't great cover, but we're gonna have a height advantage. I'd rather be shooting down at them rather than being shot down at us from up here. And, oh my god. You can go even higher. Look at this. That would be one hell of a height advantage. Perfect for Spectre. Alright, might as well move my people up. Let's do it. No reason to stay back. We gotta move kinda fast if we wanna get the meld in. I don't think anyone's gonna discover us this turn, since I just scouted this place. You can't move? No, you can't move. It's, you, ha you still have double tap, but you can't use the turn to move. So you can't do anything. Yeah, I can't do anything with her. So, where's the end turn button? Somewhere... I almost never used it. There? End turn. Okay. Well, let's scout first. Should I go up here or down here? I'm gonna see more if I put her here. Let's go here. Because I doubt there's enemies up here on the left, but there's probably some down here in the chamber. Alright, I definitely want Spectre in position with some very nice height advantage up there. Be perfect. Yeah, I want her to be right here. If there's no aliens up there, which there probably isn't. I think we can probably get into place in maybe two more turns. And I'd like to reload you. And Overwatch. Okay. Am I gonna hear some aliens? I would like to. I want to know where they're at. Okay, yeah, they're in the main chamber, which is what I thought. And I lost the meld. Okay, we have all the turns in the world to get up here, then. Yeah, th there's no enemies up there. It's fine. I'm sure of it. I say that and there's going to be like a, a sectopod up there. Ah, no full cover. Actually, wait a minute. Never mind. Yes, there is. Hmm. 
That's a little bit too close for comfort. They could actually pop her close combat specialist if they decide to move. Hmm. Is this the last chamber in the map? Oh my god, no it's not. There's another one. Hmm. Hmm, the angling on this one's awkward. In fact, I might want to just put him at the door. Actually, yeah. move a couple of my people to the door. How? Wait, you can see? Oh, I guess it activated because she went in between here or something. Wait, what? But then wouldn't that, if she actually saw them, wouldn't have that, wouldn't that have triggered them? I don't even know. Yeah, that should trigger them. Whatever. I will put you here. So hopefully they don't move and pop her close combat specialist. If they do, we should be able to rush in and save her and help her. If not, I can... Oh, yep, there we go. Alright. I'm not going to be getting my sniper in a position. position, that's for sure. Oh, popping it again. <laughs> They're just getting shredded by her. Oh my fucking god. The intel lied. The intel lied. Okay. Okay. You can see something this turn. What? Oh, that. I think I need to get her into position for next turn. What the hell is this thing? Some little dinky cover. I can't do anything with her this turn. I think I just need to get her into position for next. Um, I don't know. I'll decide what to do with her later. Okay, this is tricky. So we have a bunch of targets that are extremely low health. Unfortunately, there's no one AoE that can take them all out. You are in severe danger. There's no doubt you need to move. I don't I don't know if they have Overwatch. I know the Sectopod does. It always does. Uh, let's just pop this open. Alright. Can you reach? Okay, that's probably going to be the thing to do. Because it'll take out all those obnoxious little drones. Hold on, though. Can you actually hit it? No, she can't reach the sectopod. It's too far away, so she can't suppress it. Because that'd be a very good thing to do as well. I could potentially move her up and suppress, but no. I'm not moving into this room. I'm staying in full cover. Can I blow both of these fuckers up? I can blow one up. One. Kill one with a grenade. That's not worth it. I might as well just shoot. Alright, so I'm probably going to be shooting that rocket. Okay, so I could use you to most likely kill that, and then I could probably hit both with a grenade. Or is that little fucker too far up? Oh, wait a minute. I think... Did I just see it? I don't think I can get both. I don't think I can. No, Alright, so AoEs aren't going to work here. At least not with my mechs. 
Um, thankfully it's so far away that it's gonna have to move before it can shoot us. Aside from Arrow, who I'm gonna need to get out of the way, obviously. Where am I gonna put her? I don't even want her close. There? No, that's shit. Um, half cover's also shit. Well, I can move her here and hunker her down. And then use her next turn. That's probably the thing to do. Yeah, that's probably the thing to do. Okay. I need to make a plan here. I'd really like to suppress it. I don't know if I can hit it if I move Soul up here. And I really would like to do this. In fact, could I... I can't even get this fucker. Oh wait, this is wait, this is gonna blow up the core, which is going to kill the um, heavy floater next to it. I forgot that does damage. Alright, is this better to do than trying to suppress it? I think so. Let's do this. Let's let's focus. This allows us to focus completely on the big fucker next turn. Um, okay, that didn't do damage. Strange. I should just blow you up. Or not. Let's blow you up. That's better. Achievement unlocked pale horse. I don't know what that means. Let's... Hold on, who else can shoot? I'm gonna, mo I'm gonna be moving Spectre. Do I want to pop a smoke? No real point, because we're going to move. We're going to be moving out of the way of that thing. Although I could put it on. I could put it on arrow. Hmm. Now nah, I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. You're dead. Now, I could attempt to burn a lot of your ammo to kill it, or... Actually, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Good, that worked out That worked out exceptionally well. The first shot hit, which means with his second shot, I can plop down a proximity mine. So if that thing wants to move forwards, be my guest. Now, of course, it has Overwatch, which is going to trigger when arrow moves, but she has lightning reflexes, so she will be perfectly fine. Or I could run and gun her up to it, which would be incredibly dumb. So let's not do that. The ah, thing is, she's going to be the most exposed, so it's going to shoot at her first. Which isn't good. Where else could I move her, though? She'll be fine. Alright, you, I'm going to move into position. Please be no enemies up here. Okay. It almost looks like a small fusion reactor. If we could recover it, it may prove extremely useful to our weapons and propulsion research efforts. Hmm? Sounds interesting. How do I recover it? Just don't blow it up. Alright, your move. Walk into my explosion. Or... Don't. It's apparently playing the waiting game, which is the worst game it could possibly play. That means I can just shoot it twice with Spectre. You made a mistake. Ooh. 
Yeah, we got this. Hmm. I could maybe just shoot it from here. Well, it's a really bad chance to hit. Let's move you up. I might pop the Overwatch. No. Eh. <laughs> I could just blow it up. Yeah, it's just shooted it. Just pump it full of holes. I wonder if I could hit it from here. Yes, I can. I could even suppress it. Hmm. Actually, is that thing not in Overwatch? It doesn't seem like it. Oh, come on. It's huge. How could you miss it? Uh, I might end up having to run and gun. Or I could just suppress and kill it next turn. That's actually what I'm going to do. It's too dangerous to move my people up. Let's just suppress it, and if it wants to move forwards, it could do so and step into a mine. Actually, I might not have needed to uh, had. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I could do this, and it might kill it. Maybe. It's pretty unlikely, though. Eh, let's take the risk. Oh, oh, oh. One hit point. <gasps> One hit point. Okay. Hmm. Kind of want to pop a smoke here. Except apparently I can't throw it anywhere. Oh, I was too high up. Just in case. Almost at the end of the map. It only has one hit point, but its combat effectiveness is still exactly as high as if it had full health. Yeah. I forgot about that attack. I really forgot about that attack. Hmm. Maybe I should have run and gunned it. Right. Well, you can go die in a fucking ditch. Goodbye. I wish I had restorative mist right about now. An AoE heal would be perfect. I'm gonna have to use the rest of his medkits. Yeah, smoke grenade doesn't uh, save you against mass artillery fire that nearly kills all of your people. Who did that hurt? All right, arrow's almost dead. I think arrow took the brunt of it. She did. I can't see shit because of the stupid smoke grenade. Alright, I'm sure that's all that's inside of this chamber. This chamber of doom. See, I've got two med kits. It can restore ten. Right? Ten? One, two, three. So I get, yeah, I need to use both on arrow. Everyone else should reload and then overwatch. If there was any cover, everything's blown up. Bien. 
There you go. You'll be my mobile Overwatch. Well, not yet. Gonna reload you for now. My mechs will hold the line with their massive amounts of health. I mean, look at, look at Tyrone. M just got artillery fired. He's just, he just got blown up, and he doesn't even give a shit. He's barely even hurt. He's probably just gonna heal. Yeah, he's gonna heal himself. He doesn't even care. He's got little healing drones that are repairing him. All he has to do is sit back. I'm gonna stand in the fire. Because I can. It's warm. I was chilly. No, I'm not. Okay. Can I... Can I actually, like, capture that? Or... Let's find out. No, okay. Yeah, you don't do anything with it. I guess you just make sure you don't blow it up. I don't even know if you can blow it up. of healing, then a couple rounds of moving into position in front of the door. Smoke grenade. No, you don't even have one. Okay, good as new. What the fuck? That was creepy. That must have been an ethereal. Let's move up. Alright, the way is safe. is an awfully imposingly large door. If you could even call it a door. It's gotta be the bridge. And there must be an ethereal inside. Let's see, there's no real reason to have you up at the front because you don't have your rocket anymore. So... I'll put you there. I actually would like you at the front. Yeah. You take two good shots in there, maybe kill the ethereal before it has a chance to do anything. Um, I will move you over. Even though you don't have a rocket, you can shoot twice. You can hang out there, I guess. Okay. 
All right, next turn I reload Spectre, and then after that we go inside. Okay. Here we go. Hmm. Alright. There's a small chamber in which they will have a height advantage against us, unfortunately. Very bad for me. And then there's the main chamber. I need a scout. Move up here. Ooh. Ooh, what'd you see? What'd you see? What's up there? Okay, so some Muton Elites, which I don't really care about, and then the Ethereal, which I very much do. Spectre, can you take a shot? No. However, if I moved her to this side, she might. Let's go ahead and swap. Hmm? Hmm? No. Damn, she doesn't have an angle. Are they gonna move? No. Ooh, what is this? Hmm. We could go around the side. Let's pop this open. Oh. Fuck me. What is that? Um, it's a bunch of mutons, so it's got to be a couple muton elites, or just normal mutons, and then a berserker, I think. Okay. I think I need some AoEs here. And if I move in a little bit, I can do it, and I don't think I'll be spotted. Well, so much for that. It's okay that we didn't get them both. That's the most important thing. Hmm, is that a good thing? I don't know if it's a good thing that happened. Maybe. They still don't seem to know we're here, which... Okay, we're, we're gonna be okay. Yeah. What is that noise? It's like ethereal sand. Infinitely pouring. Through the... The thing of... Whatever. Um... Um, um, um. I could kill you. So, I could kill you. Or... Honestly, what I like more is the thought of doing this. Actually, could I burn... No, you've already used half your turn. Okay. I'm going to move you here. Oh, no. Hey, at least the Ethereal ran away. Well, this ain't good. Didn't really think about that. I mean, she saw them coming up, so I guess it makes sense that she would see them coming down, right? Hmm. AoEs just became even more important.
What can you do? I like the thought of putting a mine there. Oh, come on. You can get both, right? Please. Please. Can I seriously not get both? I, I begged you, XCOM gods. I know there's an angle here. There isn't. Right. Do I take that chance? Or do I move in and shoot? I'm gonna move in. That... will allow me to do this. And I don't know if this is going to trigger the explosion. If it does, it'd be super nice. It might trigger the explosion. I hope it does. Even if it doesn't, it's going to make the Berserker come towards me, which might trigger Arrow's Close Combat Specialist. Excellent! Okay, good. Good combo there. And he's going to come towards me. Please, come close! Come very close! Oh, not close enough. Almost. Oh, you can see a lot of them. She is unfortunately flanked if she doesn't move, which is what I really don't like. I really want to move her. She's way too exposed there. Yeah, I've really got to move her. <laughs> unfortunately, Spectre can't see anyone. That blows. I think I just need to start shooting stuff that I can see. Right to the face. Right. Well, it's unlikely to kill it. I could suppress it. It's going to use a lot of ammo. Alright, so that's a 40% chance to kill it. I'm going to take it. Didn't pay off. That's okay. Okay. Let's see. Could you be shot from here? I don't know. Would you still be flanked? I really don't know. I'm just gonna move you here. And I will move you here. Up to 8 damage. 5, 6, 7, 8. Extremely unlikely to kill him. And that's a maybe, and you really can't do anything else of any worth, so I'll take it. Ooh, good job. Alright, we're in a pretty good position here, and if anyone wants to move, they're probably going to be taken out by a Spectre. I dare you. Oh. Damn it. Too far to the left to trigger it. It's okay, he didn't shoot. I'm really worried about the Ethereal. I don't care about these little mutons. Aw, it's adorable. What was that? Was that the Ethereal? It was. And then it disappeared. Okay, bye. Wait, seriously, where did it go? Did it actually disappear? Did it literally disappear? Can they do that? 
And then they, what, they just appear somewhere? Or did it bug out? I don't know what just happened. I think an AoE is in order here. Or a flame. Ooh. Five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven. Yep, let's do it. The flamethrower is actually going to come in handy. All oh, right, drone overwatch. I always forget. That's a good thing you have terrible aim. Oh, hi. I heard you needed some warmth. That's the, the badass quote, by the way. The action movie hero says, I hear you needed some warmth. Yeah, it's a classic. It's gonna be a classic. Everyone's gonna be saying it. Just like, I'll be back. Just Overwatch. I'll move over a little bit. Oh, he is there! What, what are you doing up there? It's trying to hide in the corner. That's adorable. I don't think it's going to find this adorable, though. What? It reflected some of the attack. I see. I see. Okay. You want to play it like that, huh? Forty-five percent chance to hit. Reflect that. You can't... You can't see it from there. Oh, shit. There is a thing in the way, isn't there? Hmm. Does it reflect the first attack on any turn, or what? I can't kill it. It's gonna have to overwatch. Hmm. Awkward. What's the worst it can do? Mind control? That's fine. It's okay, you can't do anything else this turn. Which means... You are dead. You can reflect it all you want. You're dead. Yeah, go back to your own dimension. Or turn into a crisp, whatever just happened. Excellent work. All objectives complete. Well, that was significantly more difficult than the mission intel led me to believe, but it still turned out very well. I bet Arrow's gonna be critically wounded, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Well, maybe not critically wounded, but yeah. Wounded for four days. Fusion Lance. Guided fusion fusion launcher. Ooh, new research. Finally, I have something to do. I should be able to make a new... Well, I can make, I can make pretty much anything I want to. But new chit and plating is something I definitely want to do. My initial observations of the abductee Annette revealed little to explain the alien's ongoing interest in her. After conducting structural imaging scans of her brain, there was some evidence of focused trauma. At this point, it is clear she harbors a latent psionic ability, something different than we've encountered in the field. My hope is that she'll slowly piece together what's happened. It does seem like that's a developing storyline. That's really interesting. I wonder where it goes. And I hope I actually get a chance to see where it goes before the game ends. Stop stalling and get your asses out there. You're on the wrong channel again. Jesus, Central. Okay, so I need money. And 
I have way more sectoid corpses than I need. I, I must have a pile of alien bodies. I bet we have a room that's just full of piles of alien bodies. Look at this. I have over a hundred alien corpses. That is creepy. I also have so much alien alloy that I'm pretty sure I can never possibly use it, so I'm just going to sell a shit ton. Which, <laughs> what should I go to? Oh my god, please go faster. Um, I'm going to take myself down to 700, and then I'm going to buy some shit and plating and start some new research. And see if there's anything else to buy. I don't... I just right-clicked. Did that... <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come back to that later. This is enough money for now. Where is my chitin plating? There it is. Alright, fusion lance or guided fusion launcher. So what is this? A powerful air-to-air -air weapon? Well, my demons are apparently invincible, so who cares? Guided fusion launcher. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what that is. So let's find out. Let's do it. Aside from that, I don't think there's anything to do. Nope. Just gotta keep waiting and see what happens with the side testing. Let's do that. We may be onto something, Commander. Hmm? Our latest candidate is... Is what? I didn't want to stop her. Ever since mankind first looked up at the stars, we have wondered what lies beyond. So very few have dared to look in it. The depths of the human mind hold more secrets than we can possibly imagine. How ironic that the means to defeat our enemy comes not through weapons or machines of war, but from within. And if we have succeeded, we will have gained a glimpse of what we are to become. We will have created something... extraordinary. Oh, we have the ability to make lights in our hands. That is awesome. So Isley and Finn are gifted. Psy experimentation has revealed that one of our soldiers has psionic powers. To view available Psy training, go to the barracks and grant the soldier a Psy promotion. New psionic training options become available as the soldier uses Psy abilities in combat. Excellent. I would also like to send in... The new person, Annette Durand. Because she seems to already have psionic abilities, so I imagine she pretty much has to, right? Be psionically... What? Uh, I'm not sure the word. Predisposed? Predispossessed to... I don't know. She probably has psi abilities. So take a look. Visit the psi labs. Uh, wait, wait. How did I say to do it? Where do you give him... Give him stuff. Is it here? Oh, here we go. Okay, so the first one you get is Mind Fray. So yeah, it's its its, its own skill tree. Just like abilities, and it's leveled up by actually using them. Use psi abilities in combat to unlock further... S wait... Causes the target to lose grip on reality, inflicting penalties to aim, will, and mobility, and doing 5 base damage. Robotic units are immune. Okay. That could be quite helpful. For a sniper. Because I imagine she could probably use it from an unlimited distance using squad sight. Hopefully it's not. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't have a range. And she could potentially use this. When she uses one movement turn. Whereas before with the sniper, of course, with her one movement turn, um, one action point left, I should say, she could either hunger down or just use her pistol, which is stupid. So this would actually give her something to do, maybe. I'm sure everyone starts out with the same one, right? The mind fray? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. 
I'll have to try to use that, but honestly, I don't think I will. I almost never used it when I originally had a Psy Soldier. So, we'll see what happens. God, I have a lot of soldiers. Alright, well, I'm going to end this episode here. And when I come back, we'll figure out what this guided fusion launcher is. And continue to level ourselves up and build the chamber and do more Psy testing and get ourselves ready for the final mission. So, I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.